right, so here we go. The, the song is in the key of D minor, so the chord, it's only eight bars long. And uh, the chord chart goes like D, C, D, D, F, C, stay, and back to D. All right, so that's the chord progression. Very, very simple, right? And um, actually, you, there is a slight variation in the chord progression that you can play. And at the very end, before when you are holding the C chord, you can also play an A minor or something like this. Yeah, that's just very little detail, very nice little chord substitution. I think Doc Watson is playing that A minor, depends on the version you listen to, but sometimes he does. So. so, and I'm assuming that you have your guitars, right? So just follow the lesson with your guitar and we're gonna learn this, to, this little arrangement for Shady Grove together. And by the way, if you are not a subscriber to my YouTube channel, just uh, click the, the button and uh, hit the bell so you will be notified when I go live again or when I post a new video. Uh, so first of all, let me show you this little, little thing that you can play when you have a D minor. It's super simple and it sounds good. So instead of just playing this, you can you can play a hammer on over the second bass. The second bass is the A string, right? So first bass, second bass. So the right hand is just playing exactly the same pattern. Down. So it's a boom chica pattern, right? And when you play the second bass, you can hammer on with your ring finger. Like this. I'm holding the D chord, by the way, like an index pinky and middle finger, because I need the ring finger to play the hammer on. This is a very cool little, little thing that you can play over a D minor. And, um, Instead of a hammer-on, you can also pick both notes if you want to. That will be a down-up. So both ways are good. If you play the hammer-on, make sure that the, the, the C note here is loud enough. Eh? You want to hear that sound. Alright, so here we go. The, let's play the first phrase. We will, we will have four, four phrases. By the way, let me show you this, so maybe you can take a screenshot. Let me see if it, is, if it works. You can take a screenshot. This is the tablature we're going to do today. Are you ready for the screenshot? One, two, three, go! Okay, done. And, uh, and uh, of course you can... Uh, you can, uh, I will leave, I will uh, <clears throat> upload the video later on, so you can always go back to the video in a second moment. So the first line is D minor and C, and it sounds like this. Okay, that's all we do. It's two bars, right? And uh, what I'm doing here, I'm playing a bass, strong, bass, strong, same blade, same bass, okay? Then I go to the C chord, and my right hand will do... So you see, right hand is just playing the third string, the fourth string, and the fifth string, strong. Okay, so D minor, D minor, 3, 4, 5, strong. Alright, now 
but this is simple because when you when when you play the C chord and you play the the D string you will also with your left hand you will play a little pull off okay again very simple right and um, and when I go back to the C note I put my middle finger back why well because I don't want to have the D string ringing when I play the C note here little detail but this is important you see my my finger here going back so that's the first line let's do it together three four okay any questions so far everybody's good the sound is good I hope Nice pull off, then let's go and move on to the second line. The second line goes like this. Sound is good. Okay, thank you, thank you. So now again, we the second line is just D minor. And the first bar is just single notes, no strums, and it goes like this. All right, and then I land on a on the third string here. That's my D minor chord, and I repeat. So slow motion again. Pretty simple, right? And uh, the down, the now down ups are down, down, slide, down, up, down, up, down. And I'm sliding with my ring finger from the third to the fifth fret, fifth string. Then I play open D. Then I play with my middle finger, second fret, open D, and then I play my ring finger, same string, and open G, upstroke, A, strum. So that's probably that's the most complicated phrase in the in this little arrangement. Oops. Make sure that your timing is correct when you play the slide. You see that that three, that C note is one eighth long so don't rush the slide stay on three and then use slide like this all right so so far we we have to move on hope so and now we have we have an F chord and uh, here we don't really need to to put all the fingers down we just need to go like this so I'm holding holding just the bar here and and my middle finger actually I st the, 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 the bar starts off with a hammer-on on the third string 
So look at the left hand here. And then the index goes to the first and the second string. And I strum. Okay, that's a little tricky maybe for some of you, I don't know. So that's... All right, and then I play the second, and then I play the third string. Again. All right, that's done. And then, good news, we go back to C, and for the C chord, we just play what we did before, that is... Remember? Third, fourth, fifth string, and with the pull off here. So now let's put it together. Sorry. One more time. Last time. Okay, so by the way, uh, uh, sorry for the interruption, but uh, I just want to say that if you're following uh, this video, and uh, there is, a, I have a crash course, it's called the Flat Picking 101, Flat Picking Guitar 101, and you can download it for free, and you find uh, the link in the description, and, um, and um, it's just an introduction to flat picking, and um, you can find, you will find five videos, couple of tabs and a backing track to get you started and um, the other option that you have is to join me uh, in my channel I have a channel uh, on TrueFire it's called Flat Picking Experience and again you will find the link in the in the description and there you can uh, join a community of guitar lovers and, um, and you will find a lot of video lessons just like this one um, and backing tracks and tabs and more than 200 videos so it's very very affordable it's only five bucks so right now all right so that's the third line sorry for the interruption and so again from the top here we go one two three four To play the very last phrase again this is a kind of a long phrase uh, uh, we just play single notes no strums and it goes like this how about that so Now this run, it's if you know how to play a, a G run or a C run, that's exactly what we are doing here, right? And now that's that's the C run. Instead of landing on the high C note, we play we play an E note and then a D note. So again slowly and now now this is this is a uh, child John uh, George this is a uh, down up down up down up pull off up sorry up on on the E note and down on D again. So you know when you play the C, C run, that's the C run, right? Now 
uh, you don't you don't rest here on the C note. You just keep you just keep going. Very similar, isn't it? So and that shady groove. I think we are pretty much done. So maybe we go from the top, okay? my tablature here otherwise I don't play what's in the tablature and then now okay so do you have any question about about this arrangement it's question time I think we have a few minutes and um, questions I guess right so so maybe maybe I can show you a couple of things that you can do to to spice this arrangement a little bit uh, very very quickly now there is there is a concept that goes like this instead of playing a bass and a strum and that is taking the time of two beats right one two and um, Instead of doing that, you can play a roll like this, for example, over the D minor, and that's also two beats long. So again, instead of playing bass strum one, two, you can play one and two and. And this is interesting because you know whenever you have a strum like here in this arrangement you can substitute the bass strum with a forward roll like this okay for example here in the very beginning instead of going maybe i just play a roll over the c chord and it sounds like this You see, or maybe in the first bar. You see how it works, and uh, this is a simple little idea that you can apply whenever you have a bass drum. And uh, and the roll usually you just play adjacent strings. So if your bass is here play string 5, 4, 3 and 2. If your bass is on the third string, you will play 4, 3, 2 and 1. Well actually I think that if, if your bass is on, a, on, on the last string, yeah maybe you can play adjacent strings or maybe you can skip the fifth string. Just the, that's, that's up to you, okay? So, so yeah, that, that's a little little thing that you can you can do to spice up your Carter style arrangement. That's what we did today, right? And again, so if you wanna uh, subscribe to my channel, uh, just uh, go ahead and uh, and give me a like, by the way, and uh, just uh, hit the bell, and you will be notified next time I will go live. And again, if you if you are new to flat picking, please uh, grab your grab uh, my video crash course. It's called Flat Picking 101, and it's free. Just and um, it's a very short crash course on flat picking. Or join me on my channel, uh, Flat Picking Experience, and you will find all of the links in uh, in the description. Okay, I think that's all for today. Thank you very much. And, uh, and I hope to see you soon, as usual. Okay? Bye-bye.